Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at what is the minimum amount of RAM that Windows 8 needs to boot on. Now, if you remember, we've done this before on actually Windows 8.1, but Windows 8, we've never really tried it on. And I'm curious, is there really that much of a performance difference between Windows 8 and Windows 8.1? That's exactly what we're testing today. So let's find out. Just for a little background on this VM, we are currently running Windows 8 Enterprise Evaluation which is the only ISO I could find. And I actually pulled this off of my laptop from 2014, so I couldn't even find one on the internet. We currently have one gigabyte of RAM on the PC right now. And, I forgot it's called computer in this build, we should be a 64-bit version. No, this is a 32-bit OS. So this is the, like, the lowest specs for Windows 8. Um, and we all know that Windows 8 actually runs pretty well on older hardware. So I'm hoping Windows 8.1 does that. So I'm hoping that Windows 8, the original build, will be able to do the same. So let's shut this down and let's start counting down. So we're going to go to memory and we're just going to cut it straight down to 512 because I know that Windows 8 can handle it. Windows 8 is really, at least 8.1, is a very lightweight operating system. It always has been. It could run on anything pretty much. So let's see what happens. And look, wow, well, that... That was a very quick startup. Here we are already in the operating system, loading up Task Manager, 385 out of 512. It's ready to be used. We can open Notepad. We can start typing if I could type right. I mean, it, it works great. Windows is unfazed by this amount of RAM. So let's go ahead and shut down once again. And we're going to try, I don't want to cut it in half again to 256. I honestly, I don't remember what Windows 8.1 did. I think it was in the 200 somewhere. I could be wrong. I did that video a while ago. I don't remember exactly what it was. Um, let's go to like 4, let's see what we can go to. Let's go to like 4, 404. HTTP Air 404. That sounds fun. And here we are. Once again, it booted perfectly fine. Really not surprised I mean it's running great I love it it's it's just working so I guess if it's just working then it would be time to try again let's increment down another one we'll probably go let's go like 360 something I like that number 360 whatever it'll let us do so let's go three we'll, we'll do 352 and it just booted perfectly fine this is really holding up well wow okay let's shut her down again and let's try or we're on with like 352 let's try like 300 roughly anything around there let's see what we can do at that level All right what are we at 300 exactly that is a lot of oh my okay i forgot about the windows 8 gestures and all that fun crap that comes with windows 8 let's see okay pretty good pretty good let's go to i want to go to task manager and see we are currently 287 out of 260 out of 300 okay not bad not bad let's shut her down and let's keep trying All right, I want to go, we'll try around 250. We'll go 252. Uh, we'll see what this does. Again, Windows 8 seems to be working pretty well um, on 300, so I think it can take these big RAM cuts. I, I really think it can. And bam, we're in. Just like that, we're in the desktop. We can open Task Manager, and we can see that we're using... Okay, now it's starting to chug along trying to open Task Manager. We're at 237 out of 252. Okay. Let's shut her down once again. And let's try. We're at 252 right now. Let's try like 224 maybe. Here we are, 224 megs of RAM. And it looks to be booting perfectly fine. Wow, Windows 8 is really a trooper here. All right, here's an unpopular opinion. I actually did really like this start screen. It just looks great. I, I was never against it. I love it. Uh, Alright, there we go. It was taking a while to shut down. Let's go 192. I'm very comfortable going that low right now. 
All right, and it it looks like it's booting, and it booted at full 1440p resolution. It's up and running. Just to avoid like it taking forever to shut down, because it is taking a while to shut down. I'm gonna force shut it down. We're gonna go down to like 150. Sorry, I lied. We're gonna go to 148. Let's see what that does for us. We should be getting very close to our minimum, I think. Although Windows 8 appears to be telling us otherwise. All right, so it is taking quite a bit longer to log in, and the display is glitching. That's not the screen recorder. I'm actually seeing that too. Uh, the mouse is captured in the VM, and it's flickering as you can see there. Like it's not flickering outside of the VM. You can see I'm. That's captured in. Um, I'm not touching it, um, and now my cursor is gone. So it looks to have booted but it's not like actually working <laughs> like it went to log in and it just said no so let's try one like 58 apparently i can't count let's try 156 let's see what this does for us nope 156 it didn't like that okay so our minimum is between like 224 or did we try 200 yeah, we did, I think. So it's between 200 and 156. We'll go 164. Let's see what this does for us. And there we go. 164 it booted on. So we want to try going down 2. Down to 156. Didn't we just try that, though? I don't know. Maybe. I can't remember at this point. Let's just try 156. Let's see where this gets us. And it's booting. No, it's not. It is not, in fact, booting at 156, which means our minimum must be 160 because it did 164. It didn't do 156. So assuming 160 works, nope, 160 is not enough. So I guess, assuming I can get it to boot again on 164, please, that means our minimum will be 164, and that's, that's it. Windows 8 cannot boot on anything less than 164 megabytes of RAM, which is way better than I thought, honestly. I was not expecting it to, to go this low. Yep, 164, we're booted. Let's take a look at the performance a little bit, just to see how like Windows 8 is. All right, so here's the task manager opened up, and the windows are moving around, actually. So we can go to performance, and we are seeing... 159 out of 164, 153, 152, 160. I mean, so we're pushing the limits here. But with that being said, this was Windows 8 on 164 megabytes of RAM. And I think I might have just crashed it. But if you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations, which I heard there's a new one coming soon. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.